Hey everyone, happy Thursday. At least it is sunny today. I think it's Thursday. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure though. I got a little helper here today. We'll see how long he can last through the workout without barking. Mm -hmm. So uh, while we let people come into class, we will be doing some standing moves today. So you'll want to make sure you've got room for that. Um, we'll be working on a lot of balance and we're also going to be doing some quad and glute work. So we'll be doing lunges and squats. But if you have bad knees, don't worry, there will be modifications. So don't let that freak you out. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go to our back and we're gonna hug our knees. So we're just gently gonna wrap side to side, massaging that lower back out on the ground. And it already feels good, right? You're already like one over. This is all I wanna do today, you wish. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna hug right knee to your chest, left leg is out straight and we're just gonna alternate nice and easy here. So remember, on this, you could have one foot down on the ground if you want to, right? If you don't want to have your leg out straight, if you're like, eh, I'm going to be kind of lazy during warm-up. Whatever, that's fine. I don't care if you're lazy during warm-up. Because later on, you'll have no choice. You don't get to be lazy. Suckers! Okay, so what we're going to do, you're just going to go one more to each leg. And then you're going to have your right leg up straight. You're going to grab behind that hamstring or calf. And we're going to alternate there. So we're just going to go one side and then to the other. So remember on this, if you want to have one foot down, you can, right? You don't have to go fast. You just want to feel a nice stretch through that hamstring. And if you did all the bridges yesterday, you're probably thinking this feels nice, right? Bridges of torture. Believe it or not, today, we only have bridges during warm-up, right? I must just be getting sick of bridges is what it is. So let's go one more to each side. Then we're going to bend our knees, feet are flat on the ground, and once you know it, we are going to bridge here. So exhale, we're going to press up. Inhale, we're going to come back. So just nice and easy. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes every time you press up into your bridge. Right? Because you want to wake up those glutes because we're going to be using them today. So anytime you're doing a lunge or a squat movement, that's a lot of glute work. So with that, you've got to activate your glutes. So that's what we're doing. We're activating our glutes. How cool is that? Science is what that is. So what we're going to do here, you're going to hold your bridge. And we're just going up and down on those tiptoes. So nothing crazy, right? We're getting our ankles all ready for bounce, right? Because you know when you balance and your ankles are all wobbly, that's what we're trying to build them up for, right? Because you don't want to have wobbly ankles. Uh-uh, heck no. So what you're going to do now, we're staying up on our tiptoes. You're going to do a small pulsing bridge. So we're not going to go all the way down to the ground. You're trying to stay up on those tiptoes if you can. If it doesn't feel good on your tiptoes, like it feels like, hey, this hurts, you can stop. If it burns, you better stay on your tiptoes, right? You don't get to relax, right? It probably feels kind of nice, even. So we're going to go about five more seconds here, and then we're just going to do a quick hold, right? So we're just going to stay up, and we're going to hold, right? And we're soothing Joey. He likes my voice so much, he's falling asleep. Little sweet Joe. So you got five seconds. All right, and then we're relaxing our hips and our heels down. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set up for a crunch. We're going to have our hands behind our head. You're going to crunch. You're going to bring one knee toward you. That knee comes down, our leg comes down, and you're going to alternate. Right? So as you crunch, you're pulling that knee in toward you. Every time you crunch, push that lower back down. So it's a small controlled motion. It doesn't have to be fast. But if you don't touch your knee to your nose, you have to start this whole workout over. Right? You have to do this workout all day until you touch your knee to your nose. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Looks like I'm doing Pilates all day. Okay, so we're gonna go one more to each leg. So here's one, here's two. So now we're gonna be up in a crunch. We're gonna bring our right leg towards us. Exhale, you're gonna kick your right leg out. Inhale, it comes back. So as you're doing this, your core should be tight. Abs should be burning a little bit. Your goal is to have that lower back down to the ground that whole time, right? So holding a crunch helps you do that. We call that Pilates hack. Oh yeah, okay? So we're gonna do three more. Here's one, here's two, and here is three. So we're gonna bring our right leg down, come down from that crunch, just enough to hold our crunch and bring our left leg up. So same thing, exhale out, inhale in, right? The inhale is pulling your knee in, exhale, blow that foot away, right? That's how you can remember the breathing pattern. Okay, so really keep that back down, really focusing on your core. 
By now, your abs should be pretty fine, right? They're awake. So we're gonna do three more. There's one, here's two, here's our last one. Three, kicking that leg out. We're gonna bring our head down and we're gonna go back to a bridging motion. So you're gonna have your feet together, knees are gonna be together. As we bridge, you wanna try to squeeze your legs together as much as you can. Exhale, we're gonna push up. Inhale, we're coming back, right? So you've gotta actively squeeze those legs together. That's not very easy, uh-uh. Right, but just think, if I was with you and your legs weren't close enough, what I would do is I would get a band. I would tie your legs together and then you'd have to have a band around your legs the whole workout, right? And you think that's a joke, that's not, right? You've seen me in class, I do that to people. <laughs> that's what keeps people coming back, right? So what we're gonna do here, you're gonna press up, hold that bridge, make sure you're squeezing your legs together, we're gonna pulse here, right? So hips are gonna come up and down. You probably thought I was gonna make you go on your tiptoes. Gotcha, right? So squeeze those legs together as much as you possibly can, right? Exhale, we're pressing up. On this one, it is a little bit harder to squeeze those glutes, but trust me, your legs are waking up. Right, you might even start to sweat a little bit. Oh no, sweating, I love to sweat. Oof, do I ever. Okay, so we're gonna press up here and hold. I want you to act like you are squeezing your legs together so much. Act like there's a balloon that you're just gonna pop. Right? So as you squeeze, you should say, Mary, I cannot squeeze anymore. That's what you should be saying. That's how it should feel. And that's how you know you're going to all right. Okay? You got three, two, one. We're going to relax down. So we're going to work our core here a little bit more. So you have the option. You could have both legs in tabletop. If you feel like your back's a little tight, you're going to want to have one foot down. Okay? And we're just going to do a slow and controlled approach. Okay, so you can have one leg up, one leg down, or you can have both legs up in tabletop, okay? So again, it's slow and controlled. Try to keep those elbows wide. We don't wanna pull on our neck, right? Your arms are strong enough to hold your head, I promise. Right, I don't think what, like the human head, what's it weigh, like seven pounds, eight pounds? I think there's a movie on it, I've never seen it. But if you know the answer, you can go ahead and say, Mary, this is how much the human head weighs, silly goose. Okay, we got five seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to this. So you're gonna crunch, you're gonna kick, you're gonna come back, you're gonna come down. Okay, so if you have one foot down on the ground, still keep it there. You'll crunch, kick, come back, come down, right? Stick to one side if that's what you need to do. If you feel like you can advance it with those legs and have both up, go for it, right? You're just gonna do that same old crunch. Okay, and I'll tell you when to switch legs if you have one leg down, I promise. I'll try to remember. Okay, so go ahead and switch your leg if you're doing one leg at a time. If you have both legs up, you just keep cooking. It doesn't matter what you're doing, as long as you keep moving. Okay, we got five seconds. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold your crunch, and you're either gonna have both legs out or try to have both legs in the tabletop. We're just doing a really strong, core bracing finisher before we stand up here. Okay, so you've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be standing up, right? So when I stand up, I don't like to use my mat, so I'm moving that out of the way. You can use your mat if you want. I don't care. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're just gonna be standing up nice and tall. Keeping your core tight, we're just gonna kick our leg out to the side and back, right? So this is just like when we're laying down, you're just standing up. So a little bit more on that balance, right? You can have your hands wherever they're comfortable, right? You can have them out to the side, right? On your hips, it doesn't matter. So every time that leg kicks up, try not to lean too much in tilt, right? You want your core to control your body, okay? And as you kick up, when it comes down, no slamming, right? If I slam my leg, I'm gonna wake Julia. You don't wanna wake little puppy up. Heck no. Right, so we got about 15 seconds here. Doing a great job, nice and controlled. Then we're just gonna pulse. You didn't know that was gonna come. Okay, so when we pulse, we're gonna keep our leg out. You're gonna pulse up and down. So on this, you don't have to have your leg crazy high. If you need to modify it a little bit, just tap that big toe and lift up, right? Either way you do it, it's still gonna work you. Okay, so your left leg is your stabilizing leg here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got about five seconds. I'm about to tip over. 
Okay, and then you're just gonna hold. So try to lift that leg up as high as you can, keeping that core tight, staying up nice and tall. We've got three, two, one. You're gonna relax right into our other side, right? So right leg's down, left leg is coming wide and back. So remember, hold on to that posture, right? Our leg isn't just slamming down to the ground. Yeah, and we're just rocking it on. You can do that with your arms if you want to, too. Little ballerina arms. But then you gotta think a little bit, right? Two movements, you know, let's not think about our arms too much. So we got five seconds, and then we're gonna pulse, okay? So you're gonna do one more. We're gonna keep our leg wide. You're gonna pulse. So if it can stay up in the air, keep it in the air. If you need to go big toe and up, that's fine too. Just try not to put too much weight on that left leg, right? It's gonna burn, right leg's fired up, because that's what's supporting you, right? If your right leg wasn't burning, I don't know what's supporting you. Right, maybe something weird. Okay, so we got five seconds, and then we're gonna hold. So you're gonna lift, you're gonna hold. Remember, if you need to have that big toe, just barely on the ground, do it. It'll help stabilize you a little bit. You've got five seconds, then we're gonna get started with our workout. Okay, and you're gonna relax. Okay, so our first motion we're gonna do is a plie squat. So I'm gonna show you a form of it, then I'm gonna show you how to modify it if you need to. So plie squats, you want to have a wider stance, your toes are turned out. So what you'll do, you'll press your hips back, you'd squat down, you'll come back up, right? So always act like there's a chair behind you, you're going to sit it. If you're modifying, you're going to have wide legs, you're just going to go opposite elbow or opposite hand, opposite knee. Don't even worry about the squat, okay? Ready? And go for it. Okay, so hips are back, you'll squat down and up. So on this, don't worry about how far down you go. Another way you can modify it for your knees is you can do a smaller motion, right? I like to call those beep boops. Beep boops. Ha <laughs> ha. It's technical. That's Pilates vocabulary, so you learn something new. Someone will say, what'd you do today? And you say, I did a thousand beep boops. And they'll be like, oh my God, that's really cool. And I'll be like, I know. Okay, so we got 10 seconds here. And then we're going to pulse, right? If you're modifying, you're just going to go one side at a time. Okay, so if you're plie squatting, you're gonna pulse, you're gonna stay nice and low. If you're modifying, you're just gonna go right leg, left arm, and you're trying to go a little bit quicker, okay? So we're trying to stay nice and low, keeping those hips back, right? Your pulse, pulse, pulsing. It feels good. If you're modifying, switch legs, so you're going left leg, right arm. If you're pulsing with me, you keep on pulsing, right? So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna isolate and do more of a balance, right? So we wanted to wear our muscles out. So when you do balance, it's harder, of course. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. So you're gonna have arms up. You're gonna bring your right leg up. You're gonna reach under and back. Reach under and back, okay? So reaching under your knee is gonna force you to lift that leg higher and it's gonna work your core more, okay? So in about 15 seconds, we're gonna keep our leg put, but we're still gonna use our arms. Okay, so we're not taking too many breaks right now. And that's okay. Just tap your toe and back. Try not to put your full right foot down to the ground. Okay, we got two more. One, two. Okay, keep that right leg up. Your arms are just coming under and back. Under and back. If that feels like too much for you, just keep repeating the move we just did where you come down. Okay, otherwise, try to hang on to it tight. You've got 15 seconds, find that focal point. Okay, 10 seconds left. You're almost there. Right, you've got five. Trying to stay nice and tall. Four, three, two, one more, one. All right, right leg's down, left leg's coming up. And that great, we're going right into that leg. We don't wanna let your brain process too much. Okay, so try to reach underneath that knee, helping you get that knee nice and high. It's gonna get above your waistline, and that's where that core work happens, okay? So in about 10 seconds, we're keeping our left leg up. Didn't I go fast? Sure did. Okay, you got five seconds. Okay, let's do two more. Here's one. Keep that leg up, two. So remember, arms are still moving. If this feels like too much for you, just keep repeating and let that leg come down each time, right? So if your leg is up, your goal is to keep it even with your waistline that whole time. 
Okay, we got 15 seconds until we go to our next move. Yeah, 10 seconds. Holding that focal point, staying up tall. Your core is working if your leg is up in the air. And even if you're tapping down, it's still there. Okay, we got three. Here's two. One more. Okay. So now what you're going to do is a narrow squat. So a narrow squat, just like our bridges in warm-up, you have your feet all the way together. You're acting like your knees are together. Your hips are going to come back. You'll squat and back up. Okay? If you're modifying, don't do that squat. If it hurts your knees, you're going to go more of a straight leg of opposites. Okay? So you'll modify if it hurts your knees. Right? Otherwise, let's get to it. Okay? So trying to keep those legs together. Right? You're trying to sit back nice and low. Keep those hips back. Your heels should have contact with the ground the whole time. Right? If you're up on your tiptoes, that's going to hurt your knees. Sit back in those heels. Okay? Shoulders should be back. You should be looking straight ahead, not at the floor. Right? And that goes for if you're modifying or not. Okay? So now we're going to pulse. Okay? If you're modifying, you're going one side at a time. So right on left leg. Otherwise, if you're pulsing, you're staying nice and low with me, squeezing those legs. Okay? Uh-huh. Is this fun? Of course it is. I know it is. Okay. If you're modifying, you're going left arm, right leg. If you're pulsing, you get a hold. Right? So we're holding right here. Squeeze those legs together. Remember, you're acting like you're trying to pop a balloon. We got 15 seconds. Core is tight. Shoulders are relaxed. Remember, you look straight ahead, not at the ground. 10 seconds to go. Right, try to get as low as you can. You have five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax up. I gotta see what we got next. Ah, oh, yes, yes, okay. So what we're gonna do here, right leg. You're gonna bring it up, kick out, come back, come down. So up, out, back, down. Up, out back, down. So kicking your leg out feels like too much. You could just kick out here and come back and up, right? So you're closer to the ground. If you're okay with just kicking out, that's what you'll be doing. Okay? So in about 10 seconds, we're going to keep our right leg up and we're just going to be kicking. Okay? So go ahead and do one more, right? So we're going to come back. Now you're just going to kick out and back. Kick out and back. So if you're modifying, toe is towards the ground. You're just going big toe out and in. Out and in. Okay, if you're not modifying, you're still staying out tall. Okay, now you're going to keep that leg out. You're going to pulse. Okay, on the pulsing, it's harder. If you need to have your foot closer to the ground, you can tap, lift, tap, lift, right? Or just keep that leg up. Try to keep it up as high as you can. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We've got five seconds, and we're going right into the other side. Three, two, one. One, right leg's down, left leg's coming up, kick, back, down, up, kick, back, down. Right, this isn't too bad. Huh, we got all kinds of fun playing for our day today. Right, we're almost done with the warm up. No, I'm just kidding, we're well past the warm up. Okay, you're doing a great job. In 10 seconds, we're just gonna be doing our kick, okay? So remember, modify as you need to. We have five seconds. Mm-hmm, right? Okay, so now what you're gonna do, keep that leg up, you're kicking out and in. So try to stay tall, right? If you needed a wall, you could, but I'd rather you just tap a toe, tap a toe, right? Okay, so try to focus most of your energy and weight in that right leg. In 10 seconds, we pulse. Okay, so keep that leg as high as you can, you should be feeling that quad. Left leg stays out, and we pulse. So you're lifting up, up, up. Up. Right, and as you lift up, you should feel your core spiking up a little bit. Spike that core. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got 15 seconds, almost fall over. I don't want you guys to see me fall over. Right, I go viral probably. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Keep on pulsing, keep that core tight. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, one. You'll relax. Okay, so. We've got two more standing moves, then we got a little bit of a finisher on the ground. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna do a curtsy lunge into a side kick. So left leg is gonna stay put, right leg is gonna come kind of across in the hind, you'll lunge down, 
You'll come up and you'll kick. Okay, so you're gonna come across and lunge, kick, cross and lunge, kick. If you're not lunging, that's fine. You'll come across, tap that toe, kick, tap your toe, kick. So you do not have to lunge. You heard it, I heard it, go for it. Okay, so we're gonna go right leg, come across, lunge down, kick. Guess what? This is hard balance, okay? So you've gotta move slow, right? You can tell my left side is not my more balanced side. Okay, and you wanna find a focal point, going nice and controlled. I like to get my arms in the gray and great. Engaged, because it helps with my balance, okay? But that's up to you, right? Whatever feels good to you, at a rhythm you can maintain, do it. Okay, and remember, if you're not lunging, just tap that foot back, kick across. It's still gonna work you. It's still gonna be hard balance. So we have 30 seconds left until we pulse, okay? Woo, almost fell over again. Doing balance and talking's hard. Right, if you don't believe me, start talking right now and see if you tip over, okay? You have 15 seconds, right? 10 seconds. It's not even burning yet. looking up right hold your posture if you look down your shoulders are gonna slouch and you're gonna slouch we don't want that okay we've got five four three two one relax shake your legs out for a second okay right leg is our stabilizer left leg is our kick okay remember modify if you need to you're gonna step or lunge kick step or lunge kick Right, look how good I am on my right side. Can you tell I'm right-handed? Just a little bit. Okay, so nice and controlled motions. Remember, go slower if you need to. My left side was a wreck. I had to go slow, okay? And if you hear your knees making noises, you get bonus points. My knees make noise all the time. It's starting to get old now. Once you hit 30, everything crackles. All right? <laughs> I'm sure you guys love that comment. Okay, nice and controlled, halfway there, okay? Remember, if you're modifying, you're stepping back and kicking, okay? Control those legs. Remember, we don't want our legs just to fall. You've gotta have body control to control that leg and what it's doing, right? 10 seconds until we pause. Five seconds, let's do two more. Here's one, here's two, right? If you're modifying, left leg is back, you'll pulse there. And pass up. Now, 10 seconds, right? Hanging on to that form. Five, four, three, Two, one, relax, go onto the floor, grab a little water. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. Just so I can keep talking. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some glute work and we're gonna work in balance with it. So your first move you're gonna do is just an alternating fire hydrant. So you're gonna come wide and wide, head look straight down one time. Ready? And go. So you're coming wide, wide, right? You have to let one leg come down before the other one comes up, right? Otherwise, you're doing, I don't know, a handstand or something. Okay, so keep your core as your center of gravity. So you want to try not to let your body turn and twist too much. Okay, and you want your head just to look straight down. Okay, straight down, not behind you. You should not see your legs moving. Just a little bit out of the corner of your eye. Okay? So you have 30 seconds until we go on to our balance move. Yay, balance. Right, Joe? Yeah, buddy. So you got 20 seconds. Joey's over here motivating me. He's my co-worker today. You got 15 seconds. 
Doing a great job. 10 more seconds. All right, we got five seconds. Oh yeah, burn. One more to each side, one, two. Okay, so we're gonna do a bird dog, but we're gonna add some dynamics to it. Okay, so sometimes we do this in warm-up, but right now your body's tired, so it's gonna be harder. So you got right arm, left leg. You're gonna start on the ground, you're gonna lift, you're gonna go wide, you're gonna come back, come down. Up, wide, back, down. So go ahead and get started with that. Every time you lift up, try to lift that arm and leg up as high as you can, okay? You have 30 seconds left until we switch sides. So really focus in on your core. Head's not hanging down, right? And as your arm and leg go wide together, your body shouldn't be moving with it. Okay, you've got 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go to our other side. 10 seconds. Right, we've got five. Let's do one more. Right, we're coming back and we're switching. Left arm, right leg, you're up, wide, back, down. Up, wide, back, down. Right, so you should be feeling those glutes because we've fired them up, right? Glutes help you balance. What? Who knew? Right, glutes have a purpose. Right, uh huh, of course they do. Okay, you're doing a great job. We've got 15 seconds, right? And this is my weaker side. I'm way more wobbly here. You're doing a great job. 10 seconds to go. All right, we got five seconds. We're gonna go one more here. We're coming up, wide, back, down. So now we're gonna do an alternating fire hydrant kick. Okay, so like before, this time you're gonna add a kick as you alternate, okay? So try to extend that leg, head still stays down. You ready, and go. So you're gonna kick, kick, right? Kick, kick. You can try to kick somebody at home right now if you want it. Say, hey you, come here, I'm gonna kick you, right? So go on side to side, remember your core is the center of your gravity, okay? So what that means is your core is gonna hold you in place your body shouldn't be rocking and rolling too much. And the good news is, we've got 30 seconds left, right? Say goodbye to your buns. We're gonna have buns of steel, or burnt buns, burnt toast, I don't know. I can't talk when I work out now, right? I'm not, I don't have smart enough jokes. All the blood's going to my muscles. Okay, 15 seconds. Head's not hanging down, you can raise tight. Keep a good rhythm of kicking. You have five seconds, right? So let's go one more each side. Here's one, here's two, and relax. Okay, one move left of this workout. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna do a bird dog, once to each side, then a push up and repeat. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like before we start. If you wanna modify, you just won't do the push up. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you go one side, the other side, you can have those knees down, do a push up, come back up, and repeat. Right, if you wanna be up on your toes, you can do it on your toes. I'm not gonna do it on my toes because I know my form's not gonna be there. Right, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If the push up doesn't feel good, don't do it. Okay, we got a minute, hug it, then we're done. Ready? And go. Okay, so you'll go one side, the other side, then you go down on your push up, and back, right? One side, the other side, push up, and back. Remember, don't do a push up if it feels like too much, okay? Modify as you need to, okay? And in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna make it really fun on you, okay? If you're modifying, you keep doing your bird dog. If you're doing push ups, we're doing all push ups now, okay? So go to those knees if you need, exhale up and back, okay? You could also just hold a plank if you don't want to push up, okay? Either way, whatever feels good to you, that's what you want to do, okay? You can plank on your hands, plank on your elbows, whatever feels good, or just keep doing bird dogs. 15 seconds to go, right? Use that exhale, keep that core tight, 10 seconds left, elbows tucked in. Okay, we're almost there. 
Five seconds, let's do two more. Here's one, here's two, and relax. And we're sweaty. Right, so here we go. There is our Thursday workout. Right, I'm gonna join you. Come say hi. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. They wanna see you. Right, see, here's my workout, buddy. All right, so there's your Thursday workout tomorrow. We'll have our Friday workout and everybody can have their cameras on, right? And it'll be fun because it's fun Friday, okay? So hope you have a great rest of your day. Great job today. See you later.